sweet. All right, so we got 10 years. Our wiring is done, almost. Mm -hmm. But we have our what? What's this, primary ignition? Mm -hmm. Cross your fingers. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll work on the lights, too. My father's going to freak when he sees this one. What? Let's turn it over? Yeah. He's got a lot into this, too. <laughs> Coffee cups. That's awesome. Cool. I just need a gas tank, huh? Oil's a pumping. Mm -hmm. and we'll find out. There's a um, low pressure gauge right there. I don't think it's going to kick anything yet, though. There she goes. No way. Yeah, she's got oil pressure. Thirty pounds. Thirty pounds. Not even running. That's not bad. <laughs> No complaints there. Don just left. Um, I've been working on the battery. I have a nice ground right there. I got the battery lead to the starter right here. I got the battery lead to the ignition right here. All the uh, wires are working. I wish I had the friggin' um, a couple, another piece of BX for the uh, headlight wires, which are right there coming up. But everything on the uh, primary circuit is connected. And as you've seen, I'll do it one more time. Put my breaker on so it's got power. Turn the key and. And we already have 30 pounds of pressure. How cool is that? 10 years into this friggin' thing. It'll be worth it when she's running. But uh, I really didn't take many pictures. I did a little bit more wiring. We've only been out here like an hour doing the primary circuit. Let's kill the power. Let's try it. Nothing. Lights, nothing. Everything's dead. This is that cool little 100 amp breaker. But uh, battery's in. It really doesn't fit this battery tray. It's a little bigger, so I gotta make a bigger one. Is it going there? I don't know. Maybe a little further back. Um, I left plenty of cable underneath. I got it all wire tied. The red one is the starter lead, the heavy black one is the ignition wire. Then it splits off here, goes under there. And I used one of those uh used one of those uh rubber clip things just to hold it up because it kept falling down right here. So I put one of those rubber clips. I'm gonna get more BX cable and put all of these in it and go up the side and but uh, I've only turned this thing over once and I've only ran this engine once. Well this engine when it was a big glob of grease out of the Monte Carlo I got it out of. That uh what did I pay for this thing? Nothing. Don bought a uh, Monte Carlo and uh he wanted the T tops off it and I was like, Well what's wrong with the engine? Nothing. I'm like sixty five thousand on it. I think it was sixty eight. And this is it. After taking it completely apart, um, degreasing it. Um, I left the bearings and everything intact. I left the rings intact. It had good compression. Uh, I took the heads off and I hand ported these suckers and they are like to the extreme. And uh, I painted it, you know, like a young teenage kid. I painted it and I stuck it in the corner, wrapped it up. It was full of oil. I oiled the uh, plug holes every, every time I could. I hand cranked it from the flywheel all the time. Um, I traded a, let's see, the intake manifold. I traded a snowblower engine for it. So a guy likes snowblower engines and he had a ton of intake manifolds. And uh, just buying things here and there. I paid like 150 bucks for the valve covers and the air cleaner, which I've destroyed and they got to be polished again. Um, brakes and all that stuff were brand new. Brand new rotors, brand new calipers. I did replace kingpin bushings and uh, everything in there. Um, Steering boxes from Dawn, like I say every time. Water pump's brand new, it's been sitting on a shelf. Plug wires I bought, what, last year? 
like it's a brand new training with some of box truck but I'm going to show you this one too well, my, my body alignment if you look down the corner of the firewall and then you go over this side I measured it identical I'm going to make those slugs work for that body mount um, yeah I think I didn't mention yesterday's I did buy the let me get it I did buy the threaded bolts threaded nuts um, I forget what they call these things but it's fully threaded half inch I think it's half sixteen all the way through and that's what's going to go in there and out back when I'm done but um damn pretty soon I'm not going to have any electrical to do brake lights are easy once the body's on we're going to have to get into the hard stuff for me now the um the tub the floor is the column the column's almost done. Electrical for the back lights. Uh, the rear end's got to come out one more time. I've got to align it from front to rear. 113 inches. Keep it straight. i got to make sills. Kick panels. Floors. Um, sure, you can make them wood. You can make them metal. We can make them a mix of both. But uh, it's never ran. Not yet. Pretty soon. A nice battery. I gotta put the charger on that thing, but it's been a great day. A lot of running around, and uh, I gotta go in. Okay, guys, 30 pounds of pressure. Holy crap, I'm freaking shaking. You can probably see it in the camera. Everything I did was right, it actually turns over. Oh, there's one boo boo. I completely forgot about when I read the starter wires I forgot to tighten the one that goes to the solenoid the little tiny one Don hit the key well when I hit the key Don was standing over here and he seen a little spark and that was the reason the friggin wire wasn't mine it was like hand tight but <sighs> shaking who's going for a ride I'm first. And nobody's driving. Dad, can I borrow the car? Oh, hell no. Um, actually, I drew the pictures for the CAD drawings for the, uh, the, the two junction blocks and that breaker. And I also drew one for the Allison. To mount that up inside the car because I don't want it outside. Because this thing. Um, this distributor is brand new and it's the old school the little one uh, with the coil, external coil. You remember I made all those brackets. As I was saying, the distributor, brand new. Guy had it listed for a boat. Doesn't know that the boat also fits the car. And the Allison electronic ignition, which is under here. I won for uh, I think it was 60 bucks on eBay. Brand new, and I'll tell you the one I had that was in there, the uh, HEI, was junk. It was so corroded. I don't know how that car ran. Carburetor I bought for 100 bucks off a guy locally. Said he had it on Craigslist for a better part of four months, off and on, and nobody bought it. He said it was on a car, and it was taken off a car. Runs good. But, once again, I'm going in, guys. Have a good night.